Mark Footit took career best figures as Surrey romped to victory over Lancashire. Lancashire resumed on day four with an overall lead of just ten and with only two second innings wickets in hand. Buck and Jarvis were looking to put up some stubborn resistance, but Buck only lasted three overs before he was caught by Burns off footed for 11. Kerrigan and Jarvis then looked to settle in, with both batsmen finding the boundary. However, their partnership would prove to be a brief one, with Jarvis lofting one to Meeker to be the last man out and Footit's seventh victim of the innings. Career best figures then for Footit, who tore through the top order on day three before finishing off the tail on the final day. Batty contributed with two important wickets late in the day on Thursday, but it was Footit's magnificent performance that limited Lancashire to an overall lead of just 37, leaving Surrey with the simplest of run chases. Burns and Sibley did the job for Surrey with minimal fuss, knocking off the runs in 9.1 overs. It was a real team effort from Surrey, with Sam Curran taking four wickets and then hitting a career-high 96 in the first innings, with all of the top eight contributing to their total of 480. Footit then cleaned up in the second innings with a career best of 7 for 62 to set Surrey up for victory. Surrey's win puts them just seven points behind leaders Middlesex, however the Division 1 front runners still have two games in hand. Lancashire on the other hand will be looking for victory in their next match against Somerset to keep their own title chances alive. Well as captain, <coughs> again you must be very, very pleased with that performance, business-like, ruthless and, and another win. Yeah, you've summed it up there. Um, there's no other words really to describe it. I think um, we started the game on the front foot and we finished on the front foot by, uh, by you know, the boys knocking the runs off today. I thought it was a pretty complete performance.